Welcome to another Pike and Shot Battle. This is Beam Fen 1622. Uh, playing this as a pair of matches versus Awesome 4. So, it's basically a fortification assault scenario. At some point, randomly, the fortifications blow up somewhere, but it's not really clear where or when. And it's a strong position. Marshes, forests are both going to be full of light musketeers. I think he knew this, but maybe he didn't. But the detached musketeers had light guns attached as well, hiding in the uh, Wagenberg here. But I think he'd just rather have them uh, to the sides, which I considered doing and didn't in the mirror. So we'll see if that's a regrettable choice or not. They hold firm. Okay. So that's a weak point there, so we're going to push for it. I don't really know what use this cavalry is going to be, but. I guess they will helpfully absorb bullets for the infantry. Everyone's favorite job. Next turn. Well, someone's got to fill in the fortifications, right? Or is he deliberately staying out of them because of the powder explosion? Which, like, on the one hand makes sense. On the other hand, like, if I could get units across and into them, that would still be pretty bad for him, even if I do lose one or two to the explosion. Archibasir is in the lead, at least they can shoot back. Next turn. Get them to run back into the woods. And push on. No hits there. 
That's all right. Let's swing away from that flank and just push our tercios into contact. Try to charge, they'll probably just evade. No? Hey, I'll take it. Yeah, go run them down. Next turn. All right, get in there, and let's stay out of stationary musket shot while we get everyone sorted out. Yeah, typical of me. I tend to horribly mismanage my artillery, so that's standard procedure for me. Go absorb some bullets. And next turn we will properly advance. I guess you can go for a run around the flank, see how far you can get. Cover so you can't get at that disrupted unit even with artillery. Next turn. Oh shit, there it goes. I mean, that actually was not so bad for him. But it's really the only chance we're gonna get here. Absorb some bullets, please. It's kinda your only task here. Great job at it, though. That's fine, just waste our time. It's not a big deal.
that actually was surprisingly okay as far as melee damage goes. Alright. Next turn. actually kind of good and that we should be able to push our infantry into this gap. Which means we don't have to be so aggressive with our cavalry. Although, we're partially committed anyway. So, we'll see how much progress we can make from pushing into there. All right, so starters, can we go? Good. And lay down some fire. That's fine. What happens if we charge? It's okay. Try again. As we don't get our Kyle impact, it's not open. But in the melee, it's okay, it's even, and then combat strength should start to kick in. And then here we can... I mean, it's not the best, but... Push into there. Force of disruption, then we can charge. Okay, very good. Could force contact here? Is that a good idea? Probably not. Okay. Here, what we could do. Hmm. So I'm going to gradually set up a flank, and that kind of throws it off. Take a shot. shot. So wait. Yeah. We might be able to try to exploit things here with our cavalry. This is even. It's not great some combat strength, but what you gonna do? Right, push on through. Uh, not close enough. It's unfortunate. We backpedal. Ugh. Well, that's going not great. We're going to lose units here. I guess on the bright side, we drew off Musketeers while we were pushing elsewhere. Attempt to surround on these units, I guess. All right, next turn.
This unit's zoned out now. Bounced. Too bad. Should we go for a break anyway? Yeah, we're not zoned in. Crunch. Okay, then give them a little push. Then you do the same here. Totally murder them. Keep falling back. We're not zoned in here, so there's no need when we can just do that. I mean, this is kind of a disaster, but it's all right. What else have we got? Nothing. Well, all our hopes lie in breaking through in the center. Next turn. Severely disordered, so it wouldn't matter that much if it did disrupt.
Oh, they're about to auto break. Cool. Do a flank threat there. And charge again. Maybe let the light guns open up, not sure. There, that should be useful. I don't even care. Okay. Uh, right. A bear. Force them into melee. Next turn. Rude. Oh, pile in, pile in, do it. Perfect, they'll break soon. Good hold there. Oh shit. That's a problem. Good timing. You're gonna need it. Get into contact if we get shot at anymore. Armor advantage should help us out. You get out. You keep that unit crammed into melee. Uh huh. Fine. Fragged. Interesting. Threat. Charge. Here? Yeah. To the rescue. Good. Ignore those guns, who cares? They're not disrupted, but get in before you get shot at more. Shoot. Ugh. Set up. Flank. I don't know about this situation. Maybe just, like, leave? Just leave. It's fine. It's cool. 
Nothing really worth shooting at. Could charge them, but why bother? Let's see where the, that unit tries to go. If they try to run, we could catch them in the flank. You. All right, we're getting that well played. Bit of pain there. Ah, that was perfect. Very nice. So it goes, and we are playing a mirror match right now. We'll see if I can do any better than that. The, I think I remember some early forum posts describing the veteran early Tercio as a uh, Imperial Death Star, and uh, it's uh, it's an apt description. They're terrifying. The thing to keep in mind is that you know in a skirmish matchup, they're so points intensive that you're not going to see a bunch of them running around like this. Uh, even with your losses must not exceed 27%. I suspect this is kind of in favor of the Catholic army. Uh, that said, it's still unique and fun, and I think, you know, with historical scenarios like this, if you play them in mirrors, it's not a big deal if they're not that balanced. So good game, toss them four, as always. We'll see how that mirror turns out.